Here are the tools used. Fancy. Always disconnect the battery. Don't get shocked like me. You should be doing the uh, negative first, but the positive right here, so we're just gonna do the positive. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unfasten the intake from the airbox resonator. Next, we need to remove the airbox. As you can see, there is a bracket connecting the airbox to the bumper. We need to remove this bolt. Now that we've removed the bolt connecting the airbox to the bracket, push towards the passenger side and then pull up to release the airbox. After removing these three bolts, you will have access to the starter. Before you can remove it, you will need to remove these nuts connecting the solenoid to the electrical system. I just dropped my. You probably should have. Uh, I can reach it. Or never mind. Done those parts first. Yeah. Broken free. There's one more though. Yep. Yeah. It's a different size though. So. Got the new one. New one. Ta -ta -ta. As hell. I see. Comes always at a good price. Come on, Jeffrey, you can do it. Say it again. Note to self what? Do not lose your screws and bolts. Because <sighs> then you would really have a hard time. back there but it's on the cat right what's that the o2 we're gonna change right it's the, the bottom one the bottom the top one. one's already been done got it and not try to electrocute myself yeah try not to please okay so let me stop moving please all right it's recording congratulations now you know how to replace your oil starter on toyota Wait, Ford Edge. <laughs> <laughs> Toyota Ford Edge. <laughs> if you learned something, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.